Welcome to the Numerate Rules video, part two. Let's take a look at the challenge phase. The final challenge is to answer one more question selected by your opponents. To enter the challenge phase, create a number line with at least one card from at least seven of the eight categories and win at least 10 cards, not including the origin card. Immediately after entering the challenge phase and on each subsequent turn, the challenger gets a special challenge question. Here's how that works. The other players remove one card from the challenger's number line and return it to the deck. The opponents then pose a new question from the same category as the card just removed. If the challenger places the new card correctly on their number line, they win the game. If they answer incorrectly, the card is dead and play proceeds clockwise. Note that the challenger's number line grows shorter each turn, making play easier, and they remain in challenge phase even as their number line shrinks. In the special case where the player to the challenger's right misses a question, the current card is set aside for a moment and a new special challenge question is posed as described a moment ago. If the challenger places the card correctly, they win. If they are incorrect, the challenge question is discarded and play proceeds clockwise with the original card. Let's take a look at an example of how the challenge phase plays out. This player has completed their number line with 10 question cards plus the origin card and cards from 7 of the 8 categories. They are now a challenger. On the challenger's next turn, they get a special challenge question. This means the other players remove and discard a card from the challenger's number line, in this case, a sports question. The opponents then pose a new sports question, which the challenger places incorrectly on their number line. This card is dead, and play proceeds clockwise. On the challenger's next turn, the other players decide to remove and discard a government question. The opponents then pose a new government question, which the challenger places correctly, and so wins the game. When the game is over, players' first reaction is to start putting their cards back on top of the respective category decks. This means the next time you play with any of the same categories, the first few questions will be repeats. A better approach is to make eight piles of the used cards, and then place them on the bottom of their respective category decks. A few tips. Keep pencil and paper handy for questions that require calculation. Consider doubling allotted time for calculation questions in the math, geometry, and physics categories. Ask for the validation year in the bottom center of the card if answers may have changed. Reduce challenge phase criteria for younger players. For example, they only need to get 8 cards from 6 categories instead of 10 cards from 7 categories. Attack the most difficult categories early while number intervals are wide. In team play, anyone can be the reader as long as they don't answer the question. And finally, answers range from 0 to 10,000 and low numbers are much more common than high. Thank you for playing Numerate and please contact me anytime with questions and feedback.